In my opinion, keyword research should be like a one night stand. Quick and dirty. Hello everyone and welcome to the brand new Supermetrics Fast Forward series where we take your daily digital marketing tasks and break them down into something fast forwarded so you can get more things done in less time. Today we're going to be talking about the very important topic of keyword research and I'm actually going to take you through a sheet that we use at Type A Media to actually get some keyword research done in between you and I about 60 seconds. In order to follow along with this tutorial, you will need access to Google Sheets, the Supermetrics add-on for Google Sheets, the SEMrush API, and access to Search Console. And that's literally it. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first and foremost, let's have a look at the sheet itself and take you on a quick tour of what you're going to get when you do this keyword research in a fast-forwarded type of manner. So. Firstly, let's have a quick look at the Opportunities tab. So essentially what we've got here is a wrap up of all SEO keywords and all PPC keywords, the total difficulty score, which is taken from SEMrush, um, and then also the amount of searches per month for that entire category. So that's multiple keywords inside of here. Um, and that's just a roll up of all the keywords we've been able to get. Now, when we look at things like all traffic, this is just adding up all of the available traffic here. Um, the clicks to the website, what we've done is we've taken, if you look at the formula, we've just taken our universal click-through rate from Search Console and we've multiplied that by the available traffic just to give us a rough idea of if we were to get our usual click-through rate, what should we expect in terms of traffic. An average order value, this is highlighted in orange because you will change this for your own site. This is done for a lead generation site. If it's e-commerce, you don't need this lead to sale bit, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, when it comes to conversion rates, like we don't know what your conversion rate is, but look at your analytics and put your conversion rate in. This is assuming that we don't really know the client yet, but we want to get the lay of the land of their website and what they may be able to do with SEO. Um, so for example, I'll take a really low conversion rate, like 0.5, and a really high one like 2% and I'll work out the amount of leads they might be able to get if they get 20,000 clicks. Then looking at lead to sales, so for us we'll convert about 10% of all of our leads into actual sales. So all we're doing here as you can see is multiplying the amount of leads by 0.1 to get that 10% number. So Next up, we've got revenue. Really simply, we're just taking the traffic, which is 3,000, and then multiplying that by the amount of sales. And there we have it. If we were to rank for all of these roughly on page one and get about four and a bit percent click to date, we should expect anywhere between £30,000 a month £122,000 a month in additional revenue. So it's not super accurate, but that gives me a really good idea of what I could potentially do with my SEO. So the next part is seasonality. Now, you can see here, if you were to say, hey, we should do a big PPC sales campaign in December, I would think you're a madman because no one's searching for SEO and PPC in December. What do you know? But loads of people are searching for it in January. So when you're building your marketing campaigns, you should probably look at building a lot of effort around January. When it comes to PPC, because they're quite similar, it's both search marketing. Uh, don't kill me for saying that PVC and SEO are the same thing. Um, it's kind of the same trend. Um, so you get the kind of rough idea of what we're trying to do here. Uh, and lastly, this is the, probably the coolest bit. This is the keyword list and the content gap analysis when I'm comparing Search Console to all of the keywords we've just found. So what this is here, we've pulled this in from Search Console and all we've done is we've said, hey, look for the keyword SEO agency inside your Search Console data. And if it exists, send me the information about your website based on Search Console. So we can see here that in the UK it gets 3,600 searches a month. That's probably just other SEO agencies looking for their own rankings. Um, and then we look at, do you even rank? Well, we do. Um, we are ranking with our homepage. We're ranking position 110. Go us um, with 0% click to rate. So why do we do this? Well. Um, we can actually start seeing this thing here that says no landing page. So, for example, SEO Agency Manchester. Now, we're not an SEO agency in Manchester, so this doesn't apply, but we very quickly start seeing, oh, we're SEO experts, but we don't have a page about being SEO experts. We should probably make that page. It's a really nice, quick and dirty 
um, way to get this information. Now, let's go into the, the nitty gritty stuff. Uh, let's just move this face over here. Okay, so let's go into how the sheet actually works. So let me just open the Supermetrics queries. Now, this is going to be like, ah, oh my God, what is this? Um, don't worry, because this entire thing is fast-forwarded keyword research. So this should take you, I'd say, 60 seconds <laughs> to do the entire thing. Sounds like a massive exaggeration, but I assure you, with this template, it is not. All right, so let me just give you a quick tour. We have a setup page. This is where you put in your top level keyword categories. So for me, it's probably gonna be things like you no know, SEO and PPC, but we can change it to something like um, analytics and maybe something like content marketing. And you can fill out as many of these as, as you like um, in order to get it going. The next stage and the final stage, I swear to God, as you go add-ons, super metrics, refresh all and we're done how good is that okay so now that all of that's just been done in the background let's see what's actually happened so we have something called ph semrush and rl semrush down here ph means phrase match rl means related searches so as you can see what it's done is it's dumped in all the phrase match keywords for analytics, all of the search trends over time, the actual volumes themselves, uh, the cost per click, and also the competition. And it's done that across multiples. Now, we set this sheet up so that you can do up to, I believe it's about 20 odd of these at once. So if you've got an e-commerce site, you can put in 20 categories and it'll push all 20 keyword types along both phrase and related searches. So. The next part is really simplistic. So what it does is it puts it into something for you to categorize everything. So let's just look at this very messy formula. This is a if is number search. So all this is doing is taking all of your original keyword research that you've just done by pulling it in from SEMrush and then it's matching it with your original setup sheet. So it's looking for the keyword analytics inside of this categorized sheet and if it exists guess what boom it's calling it analytics and it's automatically kind of keyword targeting it for you or keyword mapping it for you nice and simple um, the next part again we're going to be using um, supermetrics for it um, this is your search console keywords so literally all we're going to do um, this is already refreshed so you don't need to do this twice but if you want to see how it works we're going to supermetrics this time let's launch the sidebar. Now, one of the absolute joys of using Supermetrics is the fact that I can literally just hit refresh all and change my input data and the entire thing updates for me. So building template driven um, workflows is a really smart way of getting data in quickly. So let's just modify this. So what we can see here is data source. That's our search console in there. Select sites, well, it's gonna be ours, typemedia.net. Um, typically, I would take 90-ish you know, days of data just so I can get a rough idea of what's going on and flatten out seasonality. You can actually go all the way up to something crazy. I think you can do like the full 16 uh, months in here. Um, but I'll just keep it in 90 days just for the sake of this tutorial. And you can give it the exact time ranges as well. Um, and then what I like to do is get in. This is something that you can only do in Supermetrics. You cannot do this through the search console interface getting the query and the landing page side by side so typically oh there's my big stupid face um typically what you would do is you would pull in either a query report or a links or a, a landing page report um not both and you'll notice because of that there should be lots of duplication in my landing pages usually you wouldn't want that but in this instance we do want that because we want to see what keywords are mapped to the URLs. You literally just get your website and hit apply changes and it brings everything in. So the next part for us is this edit this keywords page. Now you'll notice that this is not anything to do with analytics or content marketing. In fact it's the old SEO and PPC example I showed you at the start. That's because this is the only manual piece of intervention you're going to need to do on this particular sheet. 
So you would take your categorize sheet here and you would literally just take the entire table and then you'd go into edit these keywords and then very simply you would copy and paste it in and then we need to start fixing some of the um, some of the numbers and things like that. So firstly, these are wrong. So this competition needs to be moved to the end here. It's not actually competition, that's seasonality. And this is our, our volume. This isn't January, this is the difficulty. So we're gonna call this difficulty. Let me move this over here. Now competition, well, what we wanna do is actually just delete this table because it's old data and we want to work with the fresh data. So we're gonna select this column and we're gonna go data and we're gonna split the text to columns and there you go. So let's call it January here. And because Sheets is wonderful, it knows that I want all the different months. Cool, so we've got the volume and the difficulty and then all of the months. And as you can see here, we've got all of our new categories. Some are blank. So what I would seriously suggest is you filter by um, blanks and no category. Um, and this is where you're gonna want to go in and actually see, do these keywords make sense for me? So for example, like analytical chemistry jobs and analytical uh, philosophy, none of these really make any sense for me. So they're gonna be deleted. And that's what you should do. You should go through all of this stuff and look at the keywords that are actually correct for you and the ones that are wrong for you and just delete them as appropriate. So I'm going to delete um, all of these ones that don't have categories just for the sake of this tutorial. Cool. We've now got our final keywords. So what should have happened is our opportunities have now been updated. So as you can see, this is now saying content marketing and analytics. This is the difficulty score and this is the amount of searches per month we're getting. It's the exact same information in here. As we can see, we can go to seasonality, choose analytics, boom, there's our analytics seasonality. And then lastly, we can also go to our keyword list and we can compare it to, ta-da. So obviously we don't write anything about analytics. I wonder if we write anything about content marketing. <laughs> nope, no landing pages for us. So. As you can see, we've just been able to do that entire thing in like five minutes just by using this very simple template. So what I'd recommend you do is you go take the template, play with it, use it yourself, download Supermetrics and the SEMrush API and start playing around with it and making your own templates. Well, there you have it. That is keyword research. I said 60 seconds, more like five minutes, but imagine taking all that time you spend on AdWords and SEMrush and Ahrefs and you name it and then just being able to condense all of that stuff, get all that information into a sheet and start your keyword research in literally five minutes. So if you liked this video, please hit the like button down below. If you want to hear anything in particular next week or you've got a particular problem you want us to fast forward, please leave it in the comments down below. But until next time, we will see you later.